please like and subscribe Wings TV official channel for more videos. Dear viewers, welcome to the Wings TV official YouTube channel. This vlog is the second part of our exciting tour on Lisbon's Hill Tram 28. We began our journey at Abu Dhabi Airport Terminal 3, traveling to Madrid, where we spent a couple of days exploring the city and creating many vlogs for you to join the exploration along with us. Then, we took a road trip from Madrid to Lisbon with Flixbus, passing through Badajoz City in Spain. In Lisbon, we explored the city with a sightseeing tour bus and a riverboat cruise. Now, we are continuing our journey on Tram 28, exploring the hillsides of Lisbon. Please don't forget to watch this series from the beginning. As part of our Lisbon sightseeing tour, we've got the all-in-one combo ticket, with 96 hours of validity. This incredible ticket includes the Hills Tram Car, Belém Lisbon Bus, Modern Lisbon Bus, and the Yellow Boat River Cruise. Today in this vlog, we're passing by the magnificent church and monastery of São Vicente de Fora, also known as the Monastery of St. Vincent outside the walls. This 17th century church and monastery in Lisbon is one of Portugal's most important Mannerist buildings. Currently, we're navigating the steep lanes of Alfama, among Lisbon's most ancient districts. These alleys are adorned with quaint shops offering traditional crafts and cozy cafes. The iconic number 28 tram brims with passengers as it meanders through Alfama, eventually ascending to the São Jorge Castle, a relic from the 11th century. From the Miradouro da Graca Terrace, one can behold panoramic views spanning the city to the River Tagus. As night falls, the soulful strains of Fado music resonate from some of the area's enduring eateries, adding to the district's timeless charm. After wandering through Alfama's streets, we'll pass by the Agrigia de Santa Luzia. This picturesque church in Lisbon's Alfama district offers stunning views over the neighborhood and the Tagus River. Built in the early 20th century, it's known for its intricate azulejo tilework and serene interior with beautiful stained glass windows. It's a must-visit for both religious and cultural experiences amid Alfama's lively ambiance. Miradouro de Santa Luzia, a beloved observation deck with a pergola, provides dramatic vistas of Lisbon and the Tagus River. Right now, we are passing by the fascinating Limoeiro, Lemon Tree, Square, nestled between São Jorge Castle and downtown Lisbon. Many tourists pass through this bustling square, often on foot, by tram, or by tuk-tuk, admiring the views of the river and the city's oldest parts. But did you know that Limoero Square has many interesting stories to tell? Next, on your right-hand side, you can see the Cathedral of St. Mary Major, often called Lisbon Cathedral or simply the Say. This Roman Catholic cathedral, the oldest church in the city, dates back to the 12th century and is the seat of the Patriarchate of Lisbon. Its architecture is a stunning mix of Romanesque, Gothic, and Baroque styles, reflecting its long and storied history. Inside, you'll find beautiful chapels, a treasury with sacred artifacts, and an impressive Gothic cloister. The Say has witnessed many significant events in Lisbon's history, making it a must-visit landmark. Over time, many earthquakes have led to this cathedral being rebuilt many times in different architectural styles.
fellow travelers. Next, on your left, you can see the Church of St. Anthony of Lisbon, a Roman Catholic church located in Lisbon, Portugal. It is dedicated to St. Anthony of Lisbon. According to tradition, the church was built on the site where the saint was born in 1195. The church is classified as a national monument. Our next attraction is the Church of the Magdalene, nestled in the heart of Lisbon. This historic church is renowned for its stunning architecture, with its portal classified as a national monument. A visit to this church promises not only a glimpse into its architectural beauty but also a journey through Lisbon's rich cultural and religious heritage. Fellow traveler, Rua da Conceição and Rua da Fancaros are more than just shopping streets. They are vibrant arteries pulsating with the lifeblood of Lisbon's history, culture, and commerce. Rua da Conceição Street is a treasure trove for discerning shoppers. Discover boutique shops tucked away in historic buildings, offering a curated selection of artisanal goods, unique souvenirs, and fashionable attire. Admire the intricate craftsmanship of locally made products and immerse yourself in the creativity of Lisbon's artisans. Alongside shopping, don't miss the chance to indulge in a culinary adventure at quaint cafes and pastry shops, where you can sample Portuguese delicacies while basking in the street's charming ambiance. Rua da Fancaros Street is adjacent to Rua da Conceição, it beckons with its eclectic mix of stores and eateries. Lose yourself in the hustle and bustle as you browse through a diverse array of offerings, from trendy fashion boutiques to traditional Portuguese shops. Here, you'll find everything from vintage treasures to contemporary designs, ensuring there's something to captivate every shopper. Pause to refuel at cozy cafes and restaurants, where you can savor local flavors and recharge amidst the vibrant energy of the street. Both streets are steeped in history, with their cobblestone pavements and charming architecture serving as a testament to Lisbon's rich heritage. Take in the sights of ornate facades, hidden courtyards, and centuries-old landmarks as you wander through these atmospheric thoroughfares. Each corner holds a story waiting to be discovered, making every step a journey through time. Whether you're seeking the perfect souvenir, savoring local cuisine, or simply soaking in the ambiance of Lisbon's streets, Rua da Conceição and Rua da Fancaros offer an immersive experience that will leave a lasting impression on every traveler. Next on the street ahead, you can see the Largo da Academia National Academy of Fine Arts. This prestigious institution is dedicated to the promotion and education of fine arts in Portugal. Established in the 18th century, the National Academy of Fine Arts has played a significant role in shaping the country's artistic landscape. Its grand facade and historical significance make it a noteworthy landmark for both art enthusiasts and visitors exploring Lisbon's cultural heritage. Next on your right, you'll find the Hospital da Ordem Terceira do Chiado, an 18th-century hospital founded by the Third Order of St. Francis. Though no longer operational, it stands as a significant cultural and architectural landmark in Lisbon's Chiado district. On your left, you'll see the National Theatre of São Carlos, renowned as Portugal's premier opera house. Founded in the 18th century, it boasts a rich history of hosting world-class opera performances and cultural events, making it a must-visit destination for music lovers and theater enthusiasts alike. Now we are passing by Largo de São Carlos, a charming square located next to the National Theater of São Carlos. This square is known for its picturesque setting, with elegant buildings, historic cobblestone streets, and cozy cafes. You can easily reach here by metro as well, the nearest metro station is Baixa Chiado. Largo de São Carlos is not only a cultural hub but also a popular destination for both locals and tourists alike to enjoy a cup of coffee or indulge in some shopping. The cafes here offer a relaxed atmosphere where you can sit back, unwind, and watch the world go by. Additionally, the square is dotted with boutique shops and artisanal stores, perfect for those looking to pick up unique souvenirs or discover local treasures. Here you will also find the Church of Our Lady of the Incarnation, adding to the square's historical and spiritual significance. 
Whether you're sipping on a freshly brewed espresso, browsing through the quaint shops, or admiring the architectural beauty of the church, Largo de São Carlos offers a delightful experience for visitors exploring Lisbon's vibrant city center. Dear Traveler, we end our Lisbon Hill Tram 28 Tour Part 2 here and will continue our journey in the next part. Please stay with us for more exciting adventures. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest videos. We value your feedback, so please leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts and suggestions. Until next time, happy travels!